In this problem, the percentage yield of a chemical reaction is the output variable and this is measured for three different catalysts C4, C5, C6 and measured on four different days D1, D2, D3, D4. With three different catalysts and four different days this gives 12 different conditions for the experiment and each row represents a measurement made at each one of 12 different conditions. So we have no replicate measurements in this data. To analyse for the effects of both catalysts and day, we will use an ANOVAR and we will use a general linear model. The response variable is yield. We either double click on yield or we press select to enter into responses. And for the model, we will use the factors catalyst and day. And we will run the analysis. The results are printed in the session window, which identifies that the factor catalyst had three different levels and day had four levels. And we get the standard ANOVAR table, which shows us that the Catalyst factor was significant with a p-value of 0 0.028 and also the day factor is also significant at 0 0.009. We can now see if we can identify an interaction between the catalyst and the day. So we will return to STAT, ANOVAR, General Linear Model and to add the interaction term we will have catalyst multiplied by day and then we will seek to have a factor plot and to get an interaction plot between catalyst and day we will enter catalyst and day under interactions and press OK. OK. We get our interaction plot here where each line shows a separate catalyst. We know that the day has a significant effect and indeed it appears that there is a decrease in the yield from day one to day four. There also appears to be a difference between some of the catalysts which agrees with the calculated p-value. But if we now look to see whether we have a p-value for the interaction factor by looking at the printed results and we see we have the three factors catalyst day and the interaction of catalyst and day but there's been no calculation of a significance value or p-value and the reason for this is that we have no replicate measurements in the data and the ANOVAR needs replicate measurements to be able to assess the underlying uncertainty in the measurement to be able to identify the difference between experimental uncertainty and the interaction. Before we can measure the significance of an interaction factor here, we need to have replicate measurements. In this next problem, we again measure the percentage yield for chemical reaction but now we just have two different catalysts C6 and C7 measured at three different temperatures T1, T2 and T3 but we can see here in rows 1 and 2 that these are two measurements made with the same catalyst at the same temperature so these are two replicate measurements so in this data we have two replicate measurements for every possible condition of catalyst and temperature. So now we will analyze for the effect of catalyst and temperature by running the ANOVAR general linear model. The response is the yield and the model is the catalyst, the temperature and we will include the interaction catalyst times temperature 
and we will include a factor plot and select an interactions plot by identifying catalysts and temperature. OK. And run the ANOVA. This interactions plot shows the mean values for each of the conditions of measurement. And the two lines link the two specific catalysts, C6 and C7. And we can see that the catalyst effect depends on the temperature of the reaction. A catalyst C7 is clearly dependent on temperature, whereas catalyst C6 does not appear to be so temperature dependent. We can look and see how this appears in the numerical results. And we see that in the ANOVA table, the temperature effect is significant, 0 0.026. But the interaction effect, as we suspected, is also significant at 0 0.030. On the face of it, the catalyst does not appear to be significant giving a p-value of 0.343. However, because the catalyst is involved in the interaction term, we would say that there is a significant difference between the catalysts by virtue of the way in which they react to different temperatures.